Are you ready for this? New hair, new year, new thrift guide. Let's go! Hey babes, what is up? It's Haley and welcome back to my channel. We are literally just a couple of days from 2024 and I thought that this will be the perfect opportunity to take you guys along with me today. And we're gonna be doing a little beginner to thrifting guide. This is an updated version to one I did a few years ago because I have so many new tips to share. My style has definitely changed a lot and I feel like I thrift so differently now. I get so many comments from you guys either telling me you have no good thrift stores in your area, you feel like I just get lucky and you can never find anything good at the thrift store. Well, the truth is you're probably just not looking right, babe. By following this guide, hopefully all of you guys can have a really good thrifting experience no matter where you decide to thrift and I'm gonna make it so easy for you I broke it down section by section and we're gonna look through every aspect I'm gonna show you how you could find potential and amazing gems in every single part of the thrift store so without further ado you guys here's what I hope to inspire you to thrift in 2024 let's do it smell that guys that's a good thrift day in the air Before you guys even get to a point that you make it into your thrift store, I want you to keep a couple things in mind. First of all, I would always say that the best thrift stores are in the suburbs. Sometimes really dense places like cities tend to be super picked over. All the really cool thrifty people constantly go there, so all the good stuff are usually picked up pretty quickly. The further out you go, more into like farmland, country, suburbs in your area, the better the thrift stores are and the cheaper they are too. It's also a common misconception for people to say that the sale days are best. I try to avoid sale days like the plague because the thing is when it comes to sale days, thrift stores are trying to get rid of all of their inventory that has just been laying around on the floor for so long. So if you really want to get the best stuff, go either a day or two before the sale or the day after. That's when they put the newest stuff and then you'll have the best selection. And then finally, when it comes to the days and times that I go thrifting, I get asked this question all the time. To some extent, it does matter. I would say that the worst times to go thrifting is probably the weekends because the places are usually so packed and most thrift stores, from what I know, don't actually put any new stock out on the weekend. So if you were to ask me, I'd say stick to Monday through Friday. And when it comes to the time, either show up as soon as they open or a couple hours later once they start putting out the new stuff. All right. You got that? Now let's look for the actual clothes. So often people ask themselves, where do I start? Well, it's a really simple answer. Truly what you are specifically looking for. If you came in with some kind of inspiration, I often have like some Pinterest photos or some certain pieces I'm looking for. I tend to go to the sections that may carry those. If I'm looking for a specific jacket, specific top, specific jeans. But because we're hitting up every section today, I think we're gonna start basic and go to the tops. Right now we're currently in the fall winter season, so people often neglect the short sleeve section. If it's not appropriate for your season, consider short tops as something you can layer. So just like what I'm wearing right now is literally something that I found in the top section. I mean, look at how beautiful this vest is. The stitching, it is the cutest grandma style knit. And to make it weather appropriate, you just layer it with a long sleeve under. So let's take a look for some more potential pieces here. I love the texture of this knit. With a black turtleneck underneath, it could be adorable. This top, unfortunately, is too big, but can we just take a second to appreciate the details on this down to the buttons? Oh, I would've loved that. So something you should also definitely consider, if you're on the hunt for a specific length top, then you can't find one. So often, I'm able to find really good basics like this that you could just crop to whatever desired length you want. This one is super long and has a lot of potential. You guys, look at this beautiful, beautiful little tie-up piece. You can see I'm like really into all of the feminine stuff lately, like the lace, the bows this is so beautiful for just 199 too even tied on top of a little dress that is precious all right well today's haul so far is very feminine core and i am so into it the lace and the bows give it all All right, guys, now that we got a couple of tops, I think we might as well go ahead and get some pieces of denim. Denim, funny enough, was always a section that I used to start with, specifically in the men's section. Denim in the men's section, I don't know what it is, but they're so good quality. And I am such a Levi's girl. Usually I love finding my Levi's denim here. And let's just say we've got a lot of options today. So this specific thrift store doesn't actually size their denim. It's all super random. But what I love about Levi jeans specifically, if you guys don't actually know, most of the time these tags have so much information you can find useful. These are not just random numbers. Right here you see W and L. That indicates the waist size and the length size so i would definitely say a size 28 to size 30 is usually about two to four size 28 is usually the smallest size of men's denim and then obviously a 34 length is super long which is totally fine because i'm not scared of cropping my jeans and this code right here actually indicates the size so right here you can see this is a brand new one with tags these are the 550s which are honestly one of my favorite more relaxed fitting jeans i love the wash of these especially with like a simple white top it looks like a perfect pair of blue jeans if you personally like a more high-rise fit here you guys can screenshot it i'm gonna put 
with some of my favorite Levi's codes. For denim, that is more of like a high-rise kind of mom jean fit if you're still into that. Some other really good men's denim to look out for is a Tommy Hilfiger Lee jeans. Wranglers for sure. These are one of my favorite Wranglers that I absolutely love from the men's section. But of course, we also can't neglect the women's section. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to find denim here, but there's a few tips that I personally like to keep in mind to help my search. Thankfully, this thrift store actually coordinates by color, but if yours doesn't, just be sure to skim through and find specific tones and shades you love. And then something that I think people don't personally do enough is actually bring a tape measure with them to the thrift store. It may seem weird to do so, but you have no idea how much this helps. While you're looking for jeans, if you already know that you're looking for a high-rise fit, all you have to do is literally measure the bottom of the seam to the top of the bottom fly. And here's your indicator. If it's 10 to 12 inches, then you know that your jeans are a high-rise fit without even trying them on. Take these for example, from the top of the bottom fly to the bottom end of the seam right over here. This one is about 12 inches, so you know that it's gonna be a high-rise fit. Some other ways that you could figure out if a pair of jeans is going to fit you. Make sure the button is closed, and then you're just gonna literally use your neck for this. If the ends of the two jeans come together and meet, it's most likely that the pair of jeans will fit you. And then the last thing you can try is definitely the easiest. You're gonna take your arm, put your elbow at the top of the pants, and then just do a fist and see if your arm easily fits through the waistband. If it does, it's another indicator that it's gonna fit you. Okay, and it is the season for my favorite section. In these few weeks, Florida actually gets kind of cold, so it's the only time we can really wear knits. And I mean, shopping for knits can be just so overwhelming. How do you decide which to choose? If you were to ask me, a couple things that I personally love to look for in the sweaters and the knits is cardigans. I'm loving those right now. Cable knit sweaters, definitely ones that have a pattern and texture like this. And then of course, soft materials are important. Cashmere, if I could find good cashmere sweaters, I'm definitely taking them home. When it comes to men's sweaters, they honestly have some of the best quality, coolest knits. So many of these like cable knit patterns that I love and more often than not I notice the men's section always has clothes made of higher quality materials But don't let that fool you just because something is hundred percent wool doesn't necessarily mean that it is comfortable Wool is actually a very itchy fabric So sometimes I recommend getting a sweater that is a wool blend with something else because these on its own They're the kind of sweaters that just make you shiver But seriously so many good like neutral basic sweaters You're seeing all the girls wear this on Pinterest right now The men's vest is always something I check out because like I said I love the layers and I found this one right here that's super cozy on the inside it's a little stiff leather but it can look cute all right babes we've made it to the bottom section and when it comes to the bottoms it's tricky business you really got to go through every single one because i'll tell you why with a lot of women's bottoms specifically trousers that are considered to be more vintage a lot of the pants that were considered to be a size large back then would actually be labeled a size small right now so you truly have to go through every single one to find your proper pair finding how high rise the fit is using the tape measure is great here too and with pants specifically i really love to look for specific patterns and textures some of my favorite pants that i found here in the past were some corduroys linen pants i love so much much, especially in the summertime and I even wore linen in the winter I just opt for darker colors so right now I'm actually wearing a pair of black linen pants that I thrifted they're so comfortable they legit feel like sweatpants speaking of pants that feel like sweatpants I love knits like this so much to lounge around the house in and then these chocolate brown pants they are a high rise and I love that the bottom flares out just a little bit these would definitely look so nice on chocolate brown right now I love I mean really who says you always got to thrift the fancy stuff these gray flared leggings are such a good winter staple I've also been on the hunt for a really Really good pair of pinstripe trousers because I wanted to recreate an outfit like this but something you want to notice you know these like stiff stretchy fabrics and trousers they aren't as flattering and instead try to find ones that are a bit more of a looser fit these ones with the baggier leg I feel like are so much more flattering they don't give you like a skinny jean fit and then I literally found a skirt version in a pinstripe which I've wanted so badly also this one definitely looks like it would be long enough I'm just seeing so many good wool skirts in general this one is beautiful these are really nice patterns too this is like a nice basic brown so many good ones Oh, okay, I am officially in my favorite section for this entire season and that is the jackets Okay, Florida thrift stores have incredible jackets because most people never buy them because they can't justify getting jackets when it's mostly hot here But for the few days that it gets cold, it is worth it I have found some of my favorite jackets here in the past in my last thrift video I recently found my dream leather jacket. So for now, I'm just browsing if you haven't seen it This is what it looks like. It's literally the most perfect shape the most perfect shade of brown leather jacket I've ever seen and I love it so much red leather jackets 
right now are super hot and so popular. These two especially are really good ones. I would have loved this one if it didn't have staining over here. Here's an example of something I meant. This is a more vintage tag and obviously it says size large. If you were really to look at it, it can definitely fit like a size small to medium, but I love suede jackets for this time of year. Another area of the men's section that I always thrive in is the men's button downs. If you're someone who really likes that Matilda Durf kind of style, Durf, Durf, I always mess up her name, but this girl, iconic. The button downs just look so good and always in the women's section, I either find ones that are too small or not the right material. But here in the men's, I mean, you just have so many different options. You can find the exact color tone that you want, the exact pattern. And if you are looking for that perfect blue striped shirt, I would suggest that you kind of steer away from the super, super fine, fine lines and go for ones that are definitely a little bit thicker, just like this. Okay, guys, I think I found my perfect one. I love, love, love the color of these. The stripes are perfect too. And it's actually made of a linen fabric, which I prefer my shirts to be because I like the softer feel rather than the super stiff. And it's got the cute little polo logo there. How adorable. Oh, love this one. So these are definitely the kind of shirts you want to go for, for a more structured look. But then if you want like the more chill, lazy, I stole my boyfriend shirt vibes, the men's section has got a ton of flannels to go through. I do have a couple tips on how to choose ones that look a little bit more elevated and expensive rather than cheap. I tend to steer away from plaid patterns that are super thick. I always prefer ones that are a little bit daintier. They're just much easier to pair with others. And I also try to stay away from flannels that have a mix of too many colors. You see how this has like blue and green and orange? It's a little bit too much. And instead, I would opt for flannels that are just kind of one or two tones, just like this. I love that. And you know what? While you're at it, if you're looking for a white crisp shirt, be sure to check that out too. And another really popular one is just the plain blue without the stripes. These are great as well. And then of course, if you're a mama, you've got to make a stop by at the kids section. I mean, look at this adorable little cardigan. Like, I wish I found this in an adult version with little flowers. I'm obsessed. I'm not going to focus on the kids section too much, but if you guys are curious in seeing my whole thrift with me, cool mom and cute kid edition, I actually did an entire video thrifting in the kids section, thrifting for mom outfits. It was my last thrifting video if you want to go check it out because we found so many good kids finds in that. All right, guys, it's super busy, but I'm going to go ahead and try some of these on. Maybe I'll do a voiceover while I have each piece on. But another really good tip is to always be sure to wear something that you can try things on, especially if you don't have a change room where you are. So I always make sure to wear kind of like one of these onesies under. These pants come off if I really, really need to try on a dress or a skirt or something. Because whenever I buy something without trying it on, most of the time I bring it home and I'm not happy with the way that it looks. But what I would definitely recommend if you do have change rooms in your area, then what I suggest is the perfect outfit to thrift in is a basic black or white t-shirt and your favorite pair of jeans. That way you could try on bottoms with a simple white base to see if you like it and you can try on tops with your favorite pair of jeans because let's admit if you don't like a shirt with your favorite pair of jeans you probably won't like that shirt in general love the color but way too big this top is so cute i'm imagining it with a skirt Okay, this is definitely a bold piece, but I for sure think with the right dress or the right skirt under, we can make this look adorable. I just love the lace and the bow detail so much. Mm, but you know what though? The one thing that's throwing me off is that the sleeves are a little bit too poofy for my liking. The comfy lounge pants I love. The length of the skirt is absolutely perfect. When I put my arms down, it reaches my fingertips. Obviously, I wouldn't pair it with a cropped sweater, but with a full oversized knit, so good. Way too small. That's why we gotta try it on, ladies and gents. Guys, I didn't even realize that these are brand new. So they are a little bit too big, unfortunately. I truly think that I am like a size 30 in the Levi's instead of a 32. But here's another tip for you. You guys remember those Wranglers I told you about that I absolutely love? Here they are, and while they look like they fit me like a dream, they actually didn't when I first thrifted them. I got them for just $5, and I loved the way that the leg fit, just like I love the way they fit on here. But the waist part was definitely too big, so I took it to a seamstress, and for just $10, she was able to cinch in the waist a little bit, but exactly for my body type. People get so intimidated about going to a seamstress, but especially if you buy your jeans for so cheap paying that extra ten dollars you're gonna be able to get a pair of jeans that fit you perfectly for your body for under 15 bucks most of the time and really i think i'm gonna do it with these babes i am exhausted 
exhausted. I mean, there are just so many sections to hit here at the thrift store. Right now, I am in the shoe section. And just because this area is so big, I want to focus on one place specifically. If you are a sneaker lover, definitely check out the kids sneakers. Because let's just say if you're a woman that's like a size 7, 7 and a half, even up to like an 8 and a half, you could actually wear kid sizes without even knowing it. Here is a size conversion chart. And guys, I have to tell you right now. Last week when I was thrifting, I was actually able to score a pair of Jordan 1s, pine green ones. These ones are literally $450 right now online. I found them for just $25. They obviously needed a nice good cleanup, but they were hidden away in the kids section. For 2024, a trend that is going hard are obviously loafers and Mary Janes, even flats. I've been able to find so many good ones recently, especially the ones with like the dainty straps. I love them so much. And something I have yet been able to find, but I'm on the lookout for is a good loafer. And then of course the bags. Honestly, sometimes I even like to start in this area. Here's just a compilation of some of the bags that I found in the past that I've loved so much. One of my favorites definitely being this corduroy one. It matches everything. Guys, I take this with me everywhere. Messenger bags are so convenient. They fit so much too. And at the thrift store, you could find a ton because these were really huge in the 90s and the early 2000s. Honestly, thrift store accessories are my favorite, especially belts. I don't think I've ever bought in a belt brand new before because I just really love the way that these older buckles look and feel. And they're so inexpensive too. And then of course, the accessories that we cannot forget is jewelry. I am telling you guys that dainty watches like this are going to be coming back for 2024. You might as well pick them up now at the thrift store because they're just like such a beautiful accessory. Obviously, I need to remove a few of the links on this one, but once it's resized, that would be such a beautiful accessory to add to outfits. And for that price especially, you really can't beat it. Well, you guys, if you guys follow this channel already, you know that after my thrift trips, I almost always go home and then try everything on an outfit. Today, I just really wanted to emphasize more on the informative aspect of it, showing you some things that I found today, as well as some things that I found in the past in certain sections to kind of give you inspiration when you're heading to the store yourself. So my focus, rather than sifting through things, was really just to inform you guys on what goes through my mind as I go through each section. But I really hope that you guys found this video helpful. If you did, please leave a like on this video because that really helps my channel a ton. And comment down below if you guys have any tips that you would suggest yourself that I didn't include. Our comment section is a beautiful community of people always helping each other out. So I would love to know what your tips are and maybe I'll integrate them into my next video. If you're watching up to this point, you are the real MVP. We love the ones who stick around all the way to the end. If you are watching up to this point, then comment down below 2024 thrifting queens or kings. I mean, I don't discriminate because that's what all of us are gonna be going into the new year. Thrifting is definitely gonna be a resolution. I hope a lot of you guys have on your list. And if this video motivated you to go in any way, then I did my job. Be sure to subscribe down below if you haven't already for amazing thrift videos, so much thrifting and outfit inspiration as well as every other week I have a vlog going up that's definitely a bit more family focused because I am a mom of two and all of you guys watching the vlogs you know how special you are to me be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already to see me style a bunch of these pieces on the daily I'm always posting my thrifted outfits as well as things that I find at the store and thrift flip like furniture too so if you ever need inspiration you have that there thank you all again so much for watching I love you forever and always and I can't wait to see you in my next one happy new year and happy thrifting